And by the way, I say to every young man thinking of getting married, marrying a family of five or more daughters. I did. My wife's the oldest of five sisters. You know why? One of them will always love you. Not the same one. One of them has always been on your side. That's the biggest advantage of marrying into five daughters. That sounds um, really inappropriate. That sounds pervy. That sounds like daddy showers sniffing the kids. That's what it sounds like. Welcome back to the program. That's uh, Joe Biden. Is it any wonder that his son like snorts coke off hookers' backsides? After you hear that kind of stuff, what does that even mean? That's just so awkward. Why? Uh, the quote was, "What is this? I guess somebody fifteen thousand. Yeah, if you're getting married, married to a family of five or more daughters. <laughs> wink, wink. Wah, wah. Ew, gross, dude. No, stop. Cringe, vomit. No. He's hiring a meme team. You know this." Did you guys hear about, oh, no, 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 no. I got to, I had to read this story last night, so you got to also. Joe Biden is hiring a meme team. Now, some of you, uh, or a meme manager, I should say, some of you sweet souls out there are like, we work for a living. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, so I, how would you describe it for some of our, I know most of you out there know what it is, but I'm trying, just give me a second to, to be sweet to the people who are too busy making the world not spin off into space. How would you describe it, Kane? Like images that capture a certain sentiment that, I, I don't know. like a visual joke. Right. I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's, it's, I would say you, it's like a, it's a funny like video or uh, text or photo or something I mean, like the, that. They can't. The left cannot. Yeah, meme. and it can be, and and it can be passed all around the internet, and it you know ends up it's, and that's what it is. It's just like a funny joke, basically, in like visual text or video form, right? That's what it is. So, there, Biden wants to hire one. He wants to hire a meme, a meme manager. This is from the Washington Times, which first reported this. They want to speak the language of youth, guys. How do, fellow kids? So they, they threw pot at, at millennials and Gen, Gen Z. That didn't work. Now they're what? They try to pay off their student loans. Now they think they're going to meme you. They, the left can't meme, though, because they don't have, you have to have a little bit of self-deprecating humor to be able to appreciate a good meme. Because you have to be able to take a joke as well as get it in order to really embrace the memeage. They can't do any of these things. So there was a job posting that they had. I got it here. There's a job posting that they had where they said they want uh, partner manager content and meme pages. The Joe Biden for president campaign is looking for a partner manager to join the digital partnerships team. In this role, you will initiate and manage day-to-day -day operations in engaging the Internet's top content and meme pages. What did you go to school for and go into six figures in debt for? To make memes. There are people who sit on the toilet and do it for free, right? And those are the good ones. Those are the best ones. You do, if you're, look, look, let me, pro tip. If you're trying to hire somebody to be your meme manager, you don't need to be hiring somebody that has two to four years in video, media, blah, blah. You want to you want to hire someone who can multitask on the toilet. That's your meme manager right there. We all know this is true. Listen to this. The preferred skills and qualifications. You're willing to relocate to Delaware. Oh, my gosh. Experience in contract negotiation is a plus but not required. What is that? What does that even mean? Deep expertise of digital media landscape. So the, oh, oh, but wait, wait, wait. Do you want to hear the caveat? Would you like to hear the caveat to this job listing? I would. Here it is. Bring. Biden for president requires all employees to be up to date on COVID-19 vaccination status as prescribed by the CDC as a condition of employment unless otherwise prohibited by applicable law. Mm-hmm. You've got to have the clot shot to meme. Yeah. Like I said, the person that you want to hire for this is the person whose office is their John. It's their bathroom. 
because people who are good at memeing or being funny, they're not like, I went to a very serious school and I got my four-year degree. Now I can meme. It's not that person, okay? I can't make fun of this enough. This is so pathetic. I want to bully all these people involved in this. You know, you just find that weak link in society and you got to get it out. So uh, that's that's who it is. So they're looking for a campaign manager. Now, do you remember the cringe dark Brandon stuff that they did when he gave that speech in front of the White House and it looked like a Lenny Riefenstahl backdrop? And then they try to go, no, it's dark Brandon. And then they try to make it to where he had laser eyes and none of it was funny. Okay, so that's and they did that after the whole let's go Brandon thing blew up. And none of his stuff ever, they, they try to explain it too much. I can't stand that. I cannot stand when you got to explain, just stop. So they want someone, like for instance, this is so bad. Mr. Biden's ex-account trolled former President Donald Trump with a meme posted just last week. Really? The fact that you write the sentence that way makes me want to die a million deaths. Can one cringe to death? I do believe so. They added, to celebrate the Dow Jones Industrial Average cracking the 40,000 mark for the first time in history, the Biden campaign posted a video of Mr. Trump during the 20 debate predicting the stock market would crash, and then Biden reposted the video from his personal account and added a meme of himself holding, holding an ice cream cone serving an L, which means loss, to Mr. Trump. So they still can't meme? I hope that we all get obliterated by an asteroid before this comes to fruition. I I mean, I've never wanted to carry out a terrorist attack. Are you listening to CIA? But if we are now deluged with memes from the Biden campaign, I may get an itching. Just saying. We've been through enough as a people. We were locked down, right? We had the bat crap virus. And then we all had the clot shotties. So it's like, can we now not have the the meme wars from people who can't meme wars, <laughs> wars. <sighs> i don't even know what to make of this so that's what what do they get paid that's the thing i want to know i know it doesn't say so wait they got their student loans forgiven and they're getting paid for this good lord do you want to not be funny on the internet? Come work for Joe Biden's meme team. Sponsored by Insure, Internet Explorer, Crocs, and Lee Bryant. <laughs> Sorry. That was mean. Can I just point out too? Wait, you didn't see this. Here's the original posting came. Do you notice? I want you to go look at that original posting that I just gave you in Slack. Right. Because when you read about the job description for said meme manager. Yes. It is way shorter when you compare to when you compare to the paragraphs of fine print about blah 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 identity and blah 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 and, and blah, 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 sex race age blah, 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 identity politics blah. all that stuff is way much more than what you're actually doing, right? You're right. <laughs> it's like it is. it's like paragraphs and paragraphs it's of like fine print. Four paragraphs of fine print italicized, you know. I guess just explanations, but mm -hmm. the actual description of the job is a paragraph. Yeah, it's a it's an paragraph. So he's got a meme manager. Um, what what do you, what kind of memes do you think he's going to post about the uh, strategic petroleum, petroleum reserves? He's releasing a million barrels of gas because they want to lower prices at the pump. I mean, yes, you maybe could try to drill more, extract more, expand refinery capacity, but no. Let's go ahead. How do you, would you meme this? Let's go ahead and that's that, see the fact that you would have to ask that. No one who would ever make that joke would ever ask it. Right. Right. That's the one of my favorite meme accounts ever is on Twitter and it's called Midnight Mitch. Half of the some of the stuff I can't show you. It is so funny. It's one of those things where you see the stuff that it, that this dude does and you just like you if you go to his account you can't be drinking no sodi. You know don't be you know taking a bite of a snack or something because you'll straight up choke to death. It's hysterical. And I bet you that guy is not like, well, did you spend four years in school learning how to be funny with the videos? It's so bad. Also, did yeah, you notice that one of the other requirements here is the willingness to relocate to Wilmington, Delaware? Yeah, I said that. Like, yeah, well, I know, but I mean, Delaware. why would you have to do that? 
Why would you have to for a digital job? Because it's you know it's a uh, uh, Biden boomer man. This is the administration that was all about remote work. I don't understand what's happening. You can't do the memes unless you're in Joe's basement, Kane. Got to be able to pet his leg hair. That's where the magic happens. If you're not there in the basement petting his leg hair like those kids at the pool that he talked about, then are you? Can you actually like come up with the magic to do the memes? I doubt it. I see your point. See my point. It all makes so much sense now, doesn't it? Everyone out there is going, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that makes sense. They're releasing those one million barrels of gas. Don't we use that in a day? Wait, hold up. Let's Google. How many? I love radio. I love live television. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Hold up. We're only going to. OK, he wants to release a million barrels to lower prices at the pump for the whole summer, guys. Kane? Yeah. Radio audience, television audience, do you know how much gas? How many barrels, how many barrels we use a day? It's close to 20, but... Would you like to know? I, I would. The average? Yes. 8.94. Oh, wow. Million. Per day? So he's going to release one million? One million. This is some Dr. Evil numbers right here. Now that's a meme. Dr. Evil numbers right there. I'm going to release one million barrels. We use 8.94 on average a day per the U.S. Energy Information Administration. Uh, An interesting uh, note as well is that each barrel of oil can create 20 gallons of gas. Mm. So uh, you just consider... A barrel of oil as a tank of gas. Mm. That's kind of where we are. What so, does that have to do with his hot, funny memes, we have, Kane? We have 150 million drivers on the road at any moment. He's going to uh, give us a million mm-hmm. tanks of gas. That's all he's going to do. Yeah. 